Thank you for joining us for yoga this week. Um, today I have some helpers with me. I have my daughter Alex and I have my son Jackson. So they're going to be following along and doing what I do. I want you to follow along. If you need to take a break, you can hit pause. Um, and then when you're ready to join us again, go ahead and hit play. So all of the poses that we do today are going to be about spring. We're going to talk about some of the things that we see in spring, um, some of the things that happen in spring, and we're going to do a yoga pose um, to follow along with that. So one of the first things that we see, hopefully more and more of in spring, is the sun. So the yoga pose for sun is you are going to put your hands together and you are going to reach up over your head because the sun obviously is high up in the sky. So we are going to push our arms up as high as they can go, really feeling that stretch. Now, unfortunately, we see a lot of sun in the spring, but we also see a lot of rain. So what we are going to do for rain is then we are going to take our hands and we are going to fall down to the ground just like the rain does. And we are going to stay in this position, touching the ground, just like where the rain falls. And we are going to feel that stretch in our legs. Okay, go ahead and come up standing. Okay, so we know that we see the sun, we see rain. One of the other things that starts to bloom and sprout up and grow are the trees. So for a tree pose, we are going to bring our foot up to our knee and we are going to put our hands out like the branches of a tree. This is a hard one. You kind of have to balance. So if you need to hold on to something, you can grab a chair or a table or maybe mom or dad. Alex, you can hold on to me if you need to. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and try tree with the other foot up. Breathe slowly. Alex is using a chair. She's going to put her foot up on her knee. And then put your other hand up that you aren't using to hold on to. That's a good tree pose too. Okay, so sun, rain, tree. Another thing we see and hear a lot of in spring are the birds. Now this pose is another balanced one. So I'm gonna turn to the side so that you guys can see me. I'm putting my arms out like the wings of a bird. And then I'm going to lift one foot off the ground and put it behind me. And I'm gonna hold this pose like a flying bird. If you need to move your wings to help keep your balance, you can. Like Alex has, if you need a chair to hold on to, you can do it like that. Try it by putting your other foot behind you and see if you can balance on that leg any better. But this is a bird pose. All right, go ahead and stand back up. The last pose that we are going to do for spring is we are going to get in a pose that you would do if you were planting seeds. In the spring, we plant a lot of seeds to either grow flowers or fruits or vegetables that you might have in a garden. And when we plant seeds, we need to squat down low to the ground. And then our hands go on the floor like we were planting seeds. So while you're down here, go ahead and pretend like you're planting some flowers. Jackson, what are you going to plant? Flowers. flowers. Miss, what are you going to plant? Flowers. Flowers. Can you get up on your feet like mommy? Yeah. And squat down. There you go. Now use your hands to keep your balance. Yep. And now plant your seeds. Maybe we're going to plant some raspberry plants or some tomato plants. Okay, go ahead and stand back up. Those are our spring poses. I hope you had a chance to do it with me. Potty. If you did, hang on, you can go potty. If you did have a chance to do it, please take a picture or take a video and send it to Mrs. P so I can see what you're doing at home. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jackson, for helping me. Thank you for joining us today. Keep up the good work, guys. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye.